Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is time for five more random facts that you never need to know about me. I am like trying so hard to come up with facts. <laughs> We're going to be doing facts number 71 through 75, so you can see that I have run out of a lot of things to tell you guys. But I managed to come up with five more. I don't know if they're interesting at all, but we're going to do them. If you'd like to see the beginning of this series, I have a playlist linked down below, and you can start right from fact number one all the way up, five per video. I'm trying to get to 100, and I don't know if I'll continue after that or just start a new series, but we're going to make it to 100. Okay, fact number 71. This is so dumb, but <laughs> I still type two spaces after a period when I'm typing. That probably makes no sense to anyone younger than me because I have no idea what they teach anymore. When I went to school, I learned typing on a typewriter and you always put two spaces at the end of a sentence. And so my thumbs just automatically do that. So when I type on my keyboard, on my computer, I still put two spaces after the period. So let me know if you're like 50-something. Do you do the same? I bet you do. I bet anyone who learned to type two spaces still does that. And I'm guessing younger people don't, especially like if they're texting. I like two spaces after a period in text too. I don't know. Very hard for me to change that rule. Number 72. Sandy and I were talking about this the other day and I looked it up and I was born on a Wednesday. August 31st, 1960 was a Wednesday. I will link down below to the little calculator that you can use to figure out what day you were born on. I was thinking I was born on a Monday. I know my son was born on a Monday. But no, I indeed was born on a Wednesday. And then when you find out your day of birth, it'll tell you a little bit about what that day means. Some of these things are spot on for me, some are not. <laughs> you are quite witty and have a mind curved specifically for business. I think I agree with that. You are not very organized in your work and have a cluttered thought process as well. I'm a little bit more organized in my work than I am in my life, but the mind is quite cluttered. You are not much concerned about your looks, agree, or your surroundings, agree. You are, you are mostly simple-minded. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You are curious by nature. You ask a lot of questions and seek to communicate. You are very... I was going to say you are very attractive. No, it says you are very active when it comes to interacting with others and exchanging ideas. Oh, my God. I'm very active when it comes to interacting with others. Yes, I'm, like, really hurrying to run in the other direction. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. You are satisfied with your life most of the time. Oh, is there anyone who is satisfied like that and are easily contented by what you have? I'm, I'm certainly content by what I have because I don't need much. You are efficient in your work and are likely to do well in supervisory positions. I no supervisor positions. Not not up my alley because I'm I'm just I'm too easy. And or I want people to just work, work, work and want to work and like, you know, what do you mean you have a family life? Who wants that work? <laughs> you should keep your temper in check. I don't know. Why. <laughs> I absolutely have to change these glasses as you are by I thought it said, as you are by bitch. I was like, no, as you are by birth, short-tempered, which comes in the way of your achieving success in life and maintaining good relationships. Oh, which comes in the way, gets in the way, I guess. I would say, which gets in the way. Is that what they mean? You should keep your temper in check, as you are by birth, short-tempered, which comes in the way of your achieving success in life and maintaining, maintaining good relationships. I don't know if I have ever had a good relationship with anybody at all. Okay, women born on Wednesdays, especially after 6 p.m. I have no idea what time I was born. 
exhibit different characteristics. You are materialistic, highly intelligent, and sometimes sly. I am certainly not materialistic. I am highly intelligent. That's quite obvious, isn't it? <laughs> and sometimes sly. I have to look up the definition of sly. Like sneaky, sly, that kind of... I don't know. You always do things which will give you back something in return. No. I've never in my life expected anything in return. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do a whole video on just that, but that was kind of funny. So, link is down below if you want to do the calculator and leave a comment and let me know what day of the week you were born on. I would like that in the comments. Okay, number 73. I have voted in a presidential election ever since I have been able to vote. I can't remember. I think I was able to vote the year that that I was 18? No, I don't think that was a voting year. I think I had to wait till I was 20 because I was halfway there. But I have never missed a presidential election and I will be voting tomorrow. It's the first time in my life that I don't dare say who I am voting for because there's really not a good choice out there. <laughs> and there are people who are losing friendships over this and and there's probably marriages that have split up because of this I mean it's just it's just crazy here's one thing I will say I absolutely do not mind who you vote for to me voting is very special it's very important it's a privilege to be able to vote and I would never in my wildest dreams ever try to say to someone why or why not they should vote for a particular person none of my concern everybody has their own right to decide on who they want to vote for why is that anybody else's concern I just I don't get it I don't get stuff like that I love that people have the right to make their own decision in this world over things like that and um, I think everyone who should be respected for the choices that they make when they're voting for someone. After all, both these candidates made it to this point, so obviously somebody wants them there, and uh, I'm not going to take an easy way out and vote for somebody that I have no clue who they are, so I'm just going to pick from the two we have. I know who I'm voting for. Oh, number 74. Oh my God. This is a weird one. When I was young, probably like, you know, six, seven, eight years old, up to maybe like mid-teens, I had a reoccurring dream about a nun with a knife. Go figure. I would be so afraid in these dreams. It would be anything, like, I could just be, like, going down the street, and I'd see a nun, and she'd have a big, long knife, like a long knife, and it would be, like, hidden in the folds of her habit. And only when I would get close to her, she would show me the knife. I don't remember anything more than that, but I can still vividly remember one time in my dream, we were on Main Street, and she was just standing next to a telephone pole. And then one time, I live near woods, and one time in my dream, I was walking through the woods, and there was a path that crossed, and that nun was in the path. Ran out of battery, sorry about that. The nun, the nun in the path in the woods. That was, I think, the scariest one. Oh no! Then there was another time that I was... Okay, so I had to be older in this one, because in, in this dream I was driving, and I was at a gas station, and the nun came up to the window. It was still like when people came out and helped you and pumped gas for you. I miss those days. And it was the nun, and... In for real, I got up and started running, and my bedroom door was shut, and there was a full-length mirror behind the door, and I ran right into it and opened my eyes, and from what I could tell, it was like my eyes were like all white, like in the movie The Exorcist, when her eyes would just be like white. Scared me so much. I was a very scared person, very I always had scary dreams. I was always a nervous wreck. Let's change the subject. Okay, last but not least. I just thought of this because I actually need to do it to this one. 
I clean remote controls. If you ever have a remote that's not working good, especially like if it's just a particular number or whatever, you know, always try a fresh battery. If not, you can take your remote apart. And all this little rubber pad, you just wash it in nice soapy water and let it dry. Then there's a little board in there, and I just take a cloth and I wipe that. And it's like new again. So, do you guys want to see me clean a remote control? I'd be happy to do that for you guys. I bet you some of you would like it and makes your remote run good. So, this one is sticking. It's like I can never get the number eight. So, time to clean it. So, if you guys want to see me clean it on camera, I will do that for you. Okay, that is it for tonight's episode of Five More Random Facts You Never Need to Know About Me. Please leave a comment and tell me what day of the week you were born. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!